Mike Tyson. What happened when you ran into him in the Hollywood Hills? That night we were at a nightclub first, and then everybody was going to this after party, and I kind of found out where it was and invited myself along and, you know, like showed up and banged on the door, and Mike Tyson opened it. And I, and I was like, hey, like, hey is, it, like, is it cool if I come in? And I remember he like swung his, like, uh, like swung his fist like past me and like hit me in the back of the head, knocking me like, get in here, you know, like, like yeah, get in here. And then he's like, you got any coke? And I was like, yeah, dude, I have a lot. <laughs> you know? um, I remember having like, uh, like half an eight ball in, uh, in one pocket and like an untouched eight ball in the other pocket, like, uh, which wasn't like, which was more than I would usually have. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, we locked ourselves in this bathroom. and, and just, just you and Mike Tyson? Just me and Mike Tyson. And the year was, uh, I believe, 2005. And um, we went through all of it. <laughs> Him smoking it. He took his cigarette. Like, initially, I'd never seen anything like this. You know, like, he took a, a cigarette, asked me for a cigarette. And he rolled it back and forth between his fingers so that all the tobacco like fell out and it just left like a, a hollow like cylinder of cigarette paper attached to the filter. So he, he's, he started just scooping powder cocaine, just powder cocaine into the, uh, into this hollow cigarette and like just kept filling it up and packing it down and filling it up. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking like, it le just purely logistically, like that can't work, <laughs> you know. Like, figure the paper's got to burn faster than, you know, than than like pure nothing but cocaine. But I'm just fascinated. I'm just sitting there watching, like uh, watching him do it. And then um, I think he pulled out the filter, like you know, whatever he just made it. Work. And then he made it work. He smoked the whole thing. And I was just uh, like generally f fascinated. And I just let him just keep doing it. And I'm snorting it, and he's smoking it, and until it was all gone. What are you guys talking about? We, like, we were in that bathroom for hours, <laughs> like hours and hours. And uh, before we parted ways, he said, you know, Steve, everybody's got you wrong. You're, you're a really smart guy. And then I just thought like, wow, like, Mike Tyson just told me I'm smart. How did the two of you then later wind up locked up together in a psych ward? Pure, by pure coincidence, in 2008, uh, I was locked up in, in a psychiatric ward, and lo and behold, Mike Tyson showed up as a patient. And uh, this time I pitched to him that uh, I, I wanted to have him hold his fist out and me run into his fist with my face and try to give myself a black eye. And, uh, and he, he politely declined. What did he say? He said, he said I don't want to hurt you, Steve.